you're this perp back with another video and i just got done watching season three episode three of westworld and there's a lot to dive into with this episode but before i get into this review hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you want i don't care and also follow me on twitter at perpminded420 and with all that being said let's get right into this review because this is a very important episode i i would want to say i think i enjoyed this episode a little bit more than the mave episode last week but let's get into it so this is pretty much charlotte's episode in a way even though we do see more of dolores in this episode this charlotte is a replica and she's very crucial and a key player in Dolores' plan to pretty much just take over the world, in a sense. I know it kind of sounds very cartoonish, but, you know, that that's Dolores' plan to take back what's hers or, or what she feels like she deserves. Anyways, you know, and business is not going all, all as well, you know, because she is the head of, you know this major corporation and if but the plan to completely take over might not be as easy as they thought as you know Ciroc owns like 30 something percent of the company and that's not a good thing and this kind of caught Charlotte off guard because she doesn't really know everything that's going on which leads her to kind of almost panic throughout this whole entire episode. She's trying to remember things that, you know, the real Charlotte knows. Meanwhile, we get caught back up with Caleb and Dolores and Cable calls the ambulance to get her help. And he has no idea that Dolores is not human. So he's just trying to help her out because she's bleeding out. And this is where his world kind of comes crashing down on him, where they're in this ambulance and he's trying to do everything he can do to help her get stopped by some people that try to claim that they're cops and they just want Dolores and ends up Dolores ends up killing them and getting away, which I'll get back to very shortly. Going back to Charlotte's, they find out in the company that there's a mole so she keeps getting blindsided by these things that she didn't know about or which she wasn't aware about she thought everything was just normal you know she's raising a lot of red flags you know with the company and also her family or should i say her son you know we find out that she was dating this dude named james and she's just not really acting like herself even her son sees this and well, I'll get back to our son and towards the end of this review because he mentions he has a new friend and whatnot. And this this was pretty interesting. But, you know, it's it's really sad to see this because now she feels like she's backed up into a corner. She doesn't really know who she is or what she is. You know, she's starting to kind of freak out and lose composure, which she wants to meet up with dolores and really figure things out and dolores she is an op character so she has to kind of get her back in line because she needs her she needs her to she's she's a central part of the whole entire plan while this is all going on talking about worlds being blown up we have uh caleb he's got a price on his head now he gets kidnapped by these dudes that want more information on Dolores and it sucks because you know Caleb just only connects with his mother and we get a lot more backstory on him and his mom and just what he's going through mentally but before these dudes are able to throw him off a building you know Dolores saves the day because she just had to return the favor and in return she just pretty much tells K uh caleb what's really going on not exactly what who she is but you know that these people collect your data and you know this company is nothing but evil i'm trying to get my revenge 
and I want to start a revolution, essentially, you know, and Caleb pretty much says, yo, I'm going to join, which I find it so interesting that she was able to figure out that Caleb was going to commit suicide in like 10 to 12 years, and she even took him to the spot that where he was going to do it and that talk that he had with Dolores on that um on that beach or on that dock or whatever you want to call it you know kind of motivated him to do more with his life so you could kind of look at it as a good thing but I feel like they might bump heads somewhere down the line this season who knows we're just got to wait and see now going back to Charlotte as she's trying to figure out what she is and more about her back background with her son and just what's really going on she goes to pick up her son and she finds out that you know the the friend that the son was talking about was this grown ass man and he's a fucking pedophile and she really puts him in his place or just kills him straight up which is very deserving because who, who here likes creeps like that nobody and so the episode ends off with Charlotte meeting up with Ciroc and Ciroc pretty much telling Charlotte this was your whole idea from the start to pretty much give me all the information from the people from the park and I'm like damn yo so it's just like how is she going to be able to cope with all this knowing that she was the mole the whole time and I just think this whole episode was really solid. I didn't watch the preview for the next episode. I will after this review, but until next time, I will check y'all out later. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace. Why do you like cannabis so much? Like, what is it? Like, I mean, it's been such a huge part of your brand. I just would be interested to hear like, what? Why? I should take you to my green room. I'm fine with that. <laughs> Maybe after this. Nah, um... Well, for, for one, I enjoy it for medical reasons. <laughs> Trouble sleeping? 